In this episode, we shall focus on some novel materials for skin. I'm sure many of you have heard about copper as an essential nutrient in the functioning of many of the body's processes. In the skin, it also performs a vital function in wound healing in the extracellular matrix of the skin. Copper peptide is used both for the skin as an antioxidant as well as a hair regrowth agent when applied on the scalp. How it works is firstly as a potent antioxidant, it scavenges for free radicals. Free radicals are generated as a result of environmental and biological aging. Copper peptide when applied on the scalp helps to thicken the hair shaft and also stimulate the growth of the hair follicle. What many may not know about is that copper ions can be impregnated onto fabrics as well. Last year, my team and I worked on a copper fabric, essentially engineered with copper nanoparticles impregnated onto synthetic polyester. In 2012, a group of Korean dermatologists demonstrated in a peer-reviewed study that sleeping on a copper ion impregnated pillowcase resulted in an average of a 9% reduction in curse feet for the study participants. How this occurs is not exactly clear to us, but we do know that copper ions have had a beneficial effect on the participant's skin. Given that the average person sleeps about 230,000 hours in their entire lifetime, with an average of 8 hours of sleep every night, I think it's important to understand that the material that our face is in contact with may have some effects on our skin aging overall. For individuals who sleep on their faces, it's been proven that the site on which they sleep on tends to have more sagging and more facial wrinkles. The impregnation of copper ions via nanoparticle technology is a breakthrough because the material is able to retain the active copper activity even after several washes. The second aspect that we want to talk about is the antibacterial, antifungal, and the general antimicrobial function of copper fabrics. Copper fabrics are not new. They have been used in the hospital and medical settings for a long time because of these properties. They have been incorporated into hospital scrubs as well as surfaces. What's relevant in dermatology is that acne itself is partly caused by bacteria. I'm sure many of you would have heard of the bacteria P. acnes, short for Propionibacterium acnes. And this is the bacteria that we find most acne patients are colonized with. And hence, treatment with blue light helps to control the population of such bacteria and helps to improve the acne as well. The use of a copper pillowcase can help to reduce the bacterial count in individuals who suffer from moderate to severe acne. 